can quickly send us the notifications to let everyone know that we are live we are showcasing our items for your beautiful and we're gonna have a great time so i'm just gonna yeah i have to i'm just looking down just to send over these notifications so that's usually what i do when we first go live because i know sometimes like like with instagram they tell only a few people that you're live but not everybody that's following you which i don't get why they do that but i mean i guess so let me start sending out some notifications myself i do like i know there are like ways that you can schedule to like schedule videos or posts and stuff like that but I like they don't really cater to what I'm looking for unless you guys know something about that then let me know because I just usually just post it myself um because I know some of the um this some of the scheduling posts they don't let you tag your products in there which I'm like mm, I need my products to be um to be tagged in it like <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know it's a little bit weird but okay I'm so excited to show you guys the items I'm going to showcase because it's one of our brand new collection so you might know what it is but I figured I would show it again because I feel like not a lot of people know that we launched a new collection so I just want to bring more awareness to it. I actually forgot to do something. So currently sending out notifications and I don't know like it takes a little bit just to you know wait for it to post and stuff and then usually I, what I like to do is also add it into the story so that way sometimes people don't really see your post because Instagram kind of like buries them down but I feel like a lot of people would check their stories too so I feel like that's good to um, also put on as a notification okay so we're done with that let's move on to the next one usually i send out notifications on instagram tiktok um and facebook Huh. <laughs> 
Okay, so one more spot just to send out the notifications to let people know that we are live. We are going to be showcasing our items and we're just going to have a blast. Actually, while I'm here, I think I want to pin the com- Actually, wait. I will pin that comment. Let me just first just set all the notification. I get so distracted so easily. So, let me finish doing this part first because I only got one left. Okay, so that's done. Now let me just see if I'm able to uh, post my little comment that I... Oh my god, Instagram is so annoying. I, like, I copy a thing that I wanted to put in the comments, but they always, like, it just never falls through. So I'm just going to see if I can just do it from my other account and then I'll pin it. Oh, so annoying for Instagram. Okay, so this comment here that says, hey Melina, hey, this is my personal account, and I don't know, Instagram is just bugging, it is honestly annoying. So I am going to pin this comment for you guys, so that way, if you guys are interested in checking out our website, you can um, copy and paste the link that's there, and you guys can browse around the website, if you like a cute little top there, if you like some of our slippers, some of our hair accessories, you guys can definitely see it and um and make a purchase so yeah so that link is there for you i think it's a little bit longer so you're probably gonna have to click the the more button so that way you can see like the full link to it and i usually just like fix my hair a little bit because i don't know it just never stays in place for some reason and i'm just like hello are we good but let me just move some of this down because sometimes like the messages just stay there and it's kind of hard to see like any new messages if I don't like move them up or something like that. So yeah. So I'll give it a few minutes so that way we, um, we can see if there's anyone else that wants to join our live. And then after that, we will start the live, showcase our items. It is a Friday night, so guys, let me know how your Friday night's going so far. Um, are you excited for the weekend? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Because I, I don't think it's going to snow or anything. I feel like the weather's going to be really good. Um, it's still a bit cold at my place, but for the most part, I don't think it's going to be any bad weather this weekend. 
so yeah let me know what you guys have planned It's just my hair. I don't know. I always have to fix it. It's just, it's never, it never stays in place. I just, meh, whatever. It's fine. I usually just try to fix it. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, today's showcase, I'm really excited to show you guys. And we have quite a few to show. And also we have a new freebie and a new discount code. So our special discount code and our freebies are always different during the live. They're always going to be different. So the um, discount code is always different. The amount for the discount code is always different as well. And the freebies, um, I usually like to keep it all different. But sometimes we might have the same freebies for some of the lives. Which I feel like all of our items for our freebies are really, really good. And... So, I, I really honestly think everything's really good for our freebies. Uh, today's freebies are actually really, really cute. It reminds me of summertime and just, they just look beautiful. And um, I think you guys will love them. So, I know like um, the freebies in the past lives that we've done so far, we've shown like lip glosses, scarves, um, lip balms, uh, hair clips, and... Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I forgot. I'm not sure. I think those are for the most part that's what we uh, we have given for freebies. And in the future, I do want to give like more different freebies as well. So usually during the so usually for like if you guys wanted to get a freebie, so um if you do make a purchase during the live, you do get a freebie in your purchase. And usually the freebies are randomly chosen and then placed into the purchase. So. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's a nice little surprise too, like you kind of like, you're you're wondering like, oh, which kind of freebie, what kind of freebie did I get? So I feel like that'd be nice to, you know, just surprise y'all with it. Um, also, I, I did talk a little bit about like rebranding our uh, store and I've still, I'm like, I kind of like put it on the back burner because it's tax seasons guy and like tax, it's just oh my lord like there's so much to do and i'm just like oh, okay i i have to get the taxes done first so that way it like so that way it just like puts my mind like peace of mind gives me peace of mind once all the taxes is done and i feel like everyone feels this way like tax season is so stressful <laughs> I, I can't i really can't but yeah so i am still rebranding and i've gotten a few things to rebrand like i've gotten like poly mailers that are like more to our color and um I also am thinking about changing the logo yeah like I love I love the logo but I um I love our current logo but I just feel like it doesn't work with most things that I do like if I'm trying to create like a promotion um the font just doesn't work with the other fonts so I'm thinking about changing the logo um color wise I'm obviously gonna stick with our pink but I feel like I'm gonna probably add like maybe other different shades of pink because um your beautiful's like color color scheme is um basically like pink and black but there's always like variations of pinks that we use as well so yeah we have that light pink in our logo as a background and I love it but I just feel like um usually we do stick with like shades of pink for our um for our concept and i love it i think it's cute it's like a, a really nice um light pink color and it sticks out so i really like it well it stands out i think that's a better way to phrase it it stands out nicely so i really enjoy it um but i am working on rebranding and um just trying to make it better just trying to make the store better so um, stay tuned for that because we are definitely going to be rebranding and I mean I don't I'm gonna leave the shop still up I'm not gonna like you know temporarily close it or anything like that but just know in the backgrounds I'll be rebranding some things and um, getting like I want to get like our um like our concept for the business all together because I feel like right now we don't really have like a concept and or like a theme to our um to our business so I'm just working a little bit I'm working hard just to you know figure out what I kind of like because I feel like it's so hard to choose like a design or find a design that I like because sometimes it's like what do I like what what do I want to see that represents me so I kind of want my business to represent me so I've been thinking hard about this I've been thinking a lot about this just to see like um how I can make it better so yeah I, I've been working about I've been working on that for a while and 
I had to put it like you know I had to um, kind of like step back from it because like I said tax season is here we gotta get taxes done because you know if you don't ooh, you know but yeah um, so rebrand is coming is like in the works so hopefully you guys like it um I made um I made new business cards just to see how like they would look like and I also made um the new like new thank you cards and I actually really love how it came out and I, I'm actually really excited um I might tweak a little things I don't know if I will keep like the same design but um I think the font that I chose I think the font that I chose would work with a lot of our promotional things like promotional banners and um and our emails so yeah as Sad it is to say goodbye to the first logo. I feel like the second logo is more, um, it's more multi-purpose. Like, it's very versatile and I can add it to, like, anything. And, oh my god. When I show you guys the new thank you cards, the new business cards, I'm just like, y'all will love it. Because it's so, so cute and I feel like it's a total vibe and I feel like it's me because, um, I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to, like, you know, spoil it. But... I feel like it's me. It still keeps our brand colors in there. The pink and the black. Shades of pink too. And yeah, I just, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be really good. And I think it's going to help us too overall to get like a really nice, um, a really nice concept for our business. Yeah, but if you guys haven't noticed, if you guys didn't know either, so you're beautiful. Um, we've been in business for one year already, and it's crazy. One year, I've learned so much in it, and I'm just like, oh, maybe we should change this, change that, do something a little bit better, you know, um, do some more research and stuff like that. Guys, if you're looking to start your own business, Google. Google's your best friend. Because <laughs> I look up everything on Google, I'm just like, what do I like, what do I need, what do I have to do, or even just like, um... If you already if you already have your business but you're thinking about rebranding or thinking about like your own concept, definitely use Google, use like Pinterest, those mood boards are definitely gonna help you out. And um it's just it's just a lifesaver, honestly. So yeah, I mean like if you know anyone that's in business that you can ask questions, definitely ask them. But I don't really have anyone that does like have their own business in my family, so or friends. So I kinda just, you know, I learn everything by myself. I go through it each step one at a time. So yeah. Um that's a little rant right there with the rebranding and like I don't know. But um I'll give it just like a few more minutes just in case anyone else wants to pop in and watch our live. Um if you guys haven't already liked our live, please do so. It really does help us so that way Instagram can push out our lives and let other people know that we are live, we're vibing, we're chilling, we're showing off our items, and maybe they would like to come and join us as well. So yeah, I really appreciate it though. Um like from our previous lives, we've gotten a lot of likes from you guys. So I appreciate that. And um, also, if you guys could share the live as well with your, with your families and friends, um, I would appreciate it so that way we can get the word out, we can get a bigger community, because I'm always trying to grow our community and, and um, have like a really fun community that's like, um, like, that's, oh god, I was like, I'm really, I really want to grow our, um, see, I get a little bit too excited and then I stumble and fumble on my own words, I always do this, I don't know why. But, um, I'm always looking to grow our community. I hope our community, no, I, not hope, I know our community is going to get bigger, um, eventually, and I would just, I would love to just, like, talk to you guys, and just, you know, like, see how you guys are doing, show you guys some of our new items launching, um, show you guys the new rebrand, anything, um, anything about the business, maybe talk a little bit about myself sometimes, um, I mean, if you guys got any questions, you can always leave it in the comments as well during our live. I'll answer them. Please don't be, like, too personal. <laughs> so, but, yeah. um, Yeah, you guys can always leave a comment, too. You can always just say hi. Um, You can just talk about your day. I really appreciate any of the comments. So, yeah. Um, So, I'll give it, like, one, like, maybe one more minute. And then I'll start with our, um with our showcase so i hope you guys have been enjoying the lives though because i remember like when i went on my first live the first live that i went on was to showcase our press on nails and um not many people showed up honestly not many people like maybe one or two if anything but um 
I was super nervous. Like I was so nervous. I was like, oh, so this is this is the, the and I was just like, okay, like you know maybe like kind of like figure out what you want to say because um when I went on my first live, I didn't really prepare much. Like I knew what I wanted to say. I knew what I wanted to show and talk about. Um, but I feel like um having like a little like some steps on like for like introducing like the live and stuff like stuff like that would be really helpful. So I kind of like have little steps for myself on like how um how to go about the live and also i don't know i was thinking of like do i want to make a video for that because i know some people um want to go live too to show like their items like if they have a store and stuff like that or like if they just want to create some like um videos live videos and stuff like that or just chat with their um friends um i don't know i, I was just thinking maybe i should do a video on like behind the scenes of what i do to get ready for a live maybe that might be fun so yeah let me know let me know in the comments or like you can dm us and let us know like you want to see something like that also if you guys didn't know we do have a youtube channel so that our youtube channel is melina's life and let me just see if i can type it here because um sometimes it's I don't know i like i try to i like um making the comments as our business but sometimes instagram doesn't let me post so then i would have to post on my personal account which is what you probably see right now as like the pink comment so yeah so let me just put this youtube and then oops but yeah, I mean, I don't mind just typing it in here. So that way you guys can see. And then I don't even think I finished my sentence, what I was saying. <laughs> so, hold on. Okay, so I put that, um, that comment there. It says, YouTube Melina's life. So if you guys ever want to, like, if you guys are interested in seeing behind... Um, behind the scenes if you guys are interested in seeing behind the scenes for our business any behind the scenes of new arrivals um any life updates about me maybe some like updates about my daily life or just like the life of an entrepreneur the life of an um the life of a small business owner you guys can definitely subscribe there and let me know that you came from our instagram live or let me know where you came from it'd be fun just to know where you guys came from so yeah, so that's our YouTube channel, Melina's Life. I kept it as Melina's Life because I did want to put a little bit of my life in there as well, but also showing the business side of it too. Um, currently right now, I feel like we have a lot of um, business videos more than um, like <laughs> my daily life and stuff, but I do throw it in there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to change the name to just like, you know, You're Beautiful as our business name, but I have it as Melina's Life for now, and maybe in the future if I want to, I, I will, um, I'll change it or make another channel. I don't know, but yeah. So we have that YouTube channel. You can always, um, you can always go to our YouTube channel at Melina's Life or, um, well, I usually put, I usually say app because usually people kind of like, you know, that's how it is, but if you go to YouTube, type in Melina's Life, um, my channel will show up and then you can subscribe there and keep up to date with all of our content. I actually really enjoy it. So, um, so I started doing YouTube, um, YouTube videos first and then, um, I just wanted to like get the word out there that, um, that I have a business, uh, it's very beautiful. We sell affordable clothing and accessories, um, shoes, press on nails, makeup and skincare. So we're like a one-stop shop. So you don't really have to go anywhere else. You can just shop with us and we make it very, very easy. I just see like a little, um, like fuzz ball from my shirt flying around. I'm like, is that a bug? But no, 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 it wasn't. Just, um, from my shirt. But yeah. Uh, I'm just fixing my hair. I just, I hate when it like bunches up. So, yeah. Um, so I waited for a little bit so I think we can start showcasing our items and stuff. So, um, to, in today's, uh, <laughs> I was just like, what am I gonna say? I always do this. Like, I don't know. I just like, for some reason, I just keep talking and I'm just like, wait, 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 you haven't thought about it you didn't think about what you're gonna say and you just still you're just talking so um so in today's showcase we are going to be showcasing our press on nails i think 
press-on nails are the best things ever like i love using them i love wearing them they're so versatile like look at this this is my favorite stilettos oh my god they're my favorite i love to i don't know i just keep doing this i'm like eh, jazz hand if anything <laughs> but um so I will be showcasing our press on nails. It is a new collection that we currently just launched. And um, I don't think a lot of people know that we just launched press on nails. So I just wanted to put the word out there that we have press on nails collections that have finally launched. And we have over 11 different styles. And um, we have like different patterns, different colors. And there is definitely one that's going to fit you. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that this um, press on nails collection caters to like everyone and that way um that way everyone finds what they're looking for and also like the colors of the press on nails are really um they match any skin tone so i feel like that's a win-win and um and also with um with every purchase of a press on nail we do give you a free press on nail kit and it has like instructions on it and it has and it has instructions on how to um prep apply and remove your press on nails each each steps like for your like if you're prepping your nails there's only three steps and then um, if you're um, applying your nails there's only three steps and when you're removing your nails there's only three steps i wanted to make sure that the steps are nice and simple anyone can do it like even if you're a first time um first time using press on nails i have to sneeze <coughs> <coughs> sorry um i don't know why it's like i always have to sneeze like when i'm live but um i wanted to make sure that the press on nail steps were super easy even for anyone who's just started using the press on nails and also um you know i just wanted to make sure that it wasn't too it wasn't too complicated because i've seen a few people who have press on nails and their steps are a little bit complicated a little bit too complicated and some people their steps are a little bit too long so i'm just like we made it short and simple for you um for new beginners for anyone who's been like a pro at using press on nails so yeah i wanted to make sure it was easy for you guys um we do you do have like um and then you also have like items like the nail file the uh, critical remover and like nail buffer all those stuff are also in that um kit as well um and i'll also show it to you guys too um after we showcase all of the uh press on nails so um also just a little just a little reminder or update if you guys didn't know um if you guys don't know who i am my name's melina i'm the owner of your beautiful i'm the one basically behind everything it's me sending those emails it's me updating social media um so i'm the owner of your beautiful and i've been working my butt off just to let everyone know that we're here to offer you guys affordable clothing accessories shoes press on nails um skincare and makeup so we've got you covered regardless of what you're looking for Okay, and then also, um, as I mentioned earlier, we do have brand new freebies, and these freebies are the cutest things ever. I really enjoy them, I really like them, and um, I think they're versatile for anything, any outfit you want to wear. So I'll show you guys the first um, freebies. They come in two different colors, but they're different design. So i'll show you guys the first um freebie that we have for tonight's live so if you do make a purchase during tonight's live you will get one of these freebies in your purchase in your order you know so i feel like it's really nice to have like a freebie because like it's a little thank you saying like oh thank you so much for joining our live and thank you so much for making a purchase so we would like to give you one of our <coughs> yeah my throat's still dry but yeah, so I think it's like a little nice thank you gift to you guys to say like, you know, thank you for joining our live. Thank you for watching our live, chatting with us. Thank you for making a purchase during the live. And also, you know, thank you for supporting us. So the first freebie that I have here is one of our hair, um, is one of our hair claw clips. So here's the first freebie. It's beautiful. I just love it. It's the overall, the design is like the same at the back too. So I feel like this is so cute. It's a really nice like medium hair claw clip. And it's like golden. It's like golden and also brown mixed in. So you can see like the different colors here. 
So like in the middle right here, this is more of a golden color. And then to the sides of this side and this side here, you can see it's more brown. So it's cute. And then um, I can show you how it looks from the side too. That's how it looks from the side. And then the top is this is this is how the top looks like. that's how the top looks like and i'll also show you guys how it looks like when it's open and okay whenever i feel like whenever you're buying like my hair's a mess sorry hair's a mess <laughs> okay um and i feel like whenever you're buying hair clog hair oh god it's like a tongue twister every time i try to say this but whenever you are buying hair claw clips they should open easily like this it shouldn't be forced like you shouldn't be forced to open it it should just this it should just easily be open like that this is how the inside looks like. <laughs> but yeah, and then like, you know, opening it this way to show you guys. But yeah, because I've seen um hair car um uh, oh my god. See, I'm um, like tongue twister. So I've seen I've had a bunch of hair claw clips and like um some of them are hard to open. And I'm just like, why? Your purpose is to help make my life a little bit better or easier to put my hair up, but you won't open. It's a little bit weird, you know. And then so the next one here is in black same design just a different color the back is the same thing so if I just show you guys how the back looks like it's the same thing and then just I'll open it for you guys too so yeah easy to open very cute very versatile I feel like anyone can use this anyone can wear it so okay so the next one is also a hair um, a hair claw clip so uh, a tongue twister i can't um but the next one is also a hair claw clip and um this one here oh i forgot to mention so um hold on let me go back to these two these two right here have like a nice little glossy finish so it's like you can see like how it shines nicely so these have like a nice little gloss finish okay so the next one i want to show you guys is another one of our hair um, hair claw clip. These are more like our medium sized one, but they fit nicely in my hair and um, my hair is like thick So these are nice. So this is the black one. The back looks the same way And then let me just show you guys how when you open it, it's just so easy to open Really really easy to open And then from this way too There you go. So this one here is the black version And then we do have another version and here is the second one of it. Hopefully that's focusing nicely for you guys. So yeah, so this design here shows like all um, the golden part in the middle. And then to the side here, we get like brown tones there. And then with these two hair clips, I do want to mention that these are both matte hair clips. So I know like a lot of people are like are confused to like matte and gloss hair clip what's the difference well the matte one here these are more um i have to sneeze again i just i can feel it <laughs> oh my god it's just uh i guess we're just sneezing throughout the whole live i guess so But um, like I was saying, so a lot of people are like, what's the difference between the matte and the gloss? So the matte one here, so if you take a closer look, let me just show you a better angle. So if you take a closer look, you can tell that this is matte because of how it's not glossy. It's just, and it, it's not glossy and it just like slides nicely down. So this one's like the matte version. That's the black one. And this one's like the brown one. And you can tell too that the colors are a little bit more darker than the gloss ones. And then um, I'll show you guys the gloss version. Well, this is the um, this is not the same version as that hair clip, but um, this one is like a gloss version. So as you can see immediately when I put the gloss one up, the gloss one shows how like bright it is and how you can see how glossy it is. Especially when you move it like this, you can see that gloss. And it's like a smooth to touch too. It's really nice. And then this one is the brown one. And then just like as comparison, I guess I can show you guys comparison with the colors because the colors are actually similar to each other. So um, this is the gloss one. You can see how like on my ring light it does do it does uh, like a reflection. So yeah, 
and then here's the matte one and you can see here like it shows a little bit of a reflection off the ring light but honestly you just it's just you don't really see any reflection so i can put them like side by side to show you guys like this and then you can see this one here is the gloss and this one here is the matte one i'll show you the other one too for the black so if you take a look this one here is the gloss one you can see the reflection of the light nicely into it, it looks nice and smooth and then this one here is the matte one this is more of a like a very um kind of like a, a sleek looking hair hair clip and then you can put it side by side as each other so this one's the gloss one more shinier in the light this one here it has some tone like you see some of the lights flashing on it but it's like it's matte so it's not going to be reflective as the gloss one so yeah but i feel like these two are like really cute these actually aren't let's see they're both cute so those are um let me just grab something like this. So yeah, so these are our freebies for tonight's live. So with any purchase during the live, you will get a freebie. A, uh, it is randomly selected and the freebie will be put into your order. So it says a thank you for um, purchasing the order during our live. And um, we also will have a bunch of new different freebies and stuff like that in the future. So definitely stay tuned. So, those were our freebies. Yeah, I fixed my hair a lot. I just uh, can't. I can't. I just, I don't know. I just wish it would stay in place. But it really doesn't. So, yeah. Sad. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, so those were our freebies for tonight's live and also we do have a special discount code with every live that we do special discount codes are always different so we like it could be 10% it could be 15% it could be 20% it could even go up to like 30 50% it just you know if you're in the live you know the special discount code you miss the special discount if you miss the live then you do miss the special discount code so I feel like you know pop in say hi see what's our discount code see what's going on and like if you um plan to make a purchase definitely use the uh, special discount code so i feel like that's really good to have and um with our special discount code for tonight's live it is going to be press on 15 for 15 percent off your purchase and i will leave it in the comments as well i feel like it'll be easier like i have to leave like um the comments like this so let me give me a second so i can just put this on so you know it's like a moment of silence when i'm just like putting this so let's see Okay, so I just put it in the comments. So it says press on 15 for 15% off your purchase. So if you like any of the items that we showcased in tonight's live, you can definitely make a purchase. Use that discount code as well. And hey, Stephanie, thanks for joining the live. Um, how are you? How's your day going so far? Any plans for the weekend? Um, but yeah, if you guys wanted to use that code, it's definitely there. Um, I wish I could pin the um, comments so that way... Um, we could see more than one pin. I wish we could pin like up to like three comments, but I guess we can't do that for Instagram, but it's fine. But yeah, so use that discount code for 15% off, press ons 15. Um, you guys can just like copy and paste that code so that way it's easy for you guys. Um, and there's like no misspelling or anything like that. So um, discount code is valid until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time um, tonight. Uh, usually I like to leave it until 11.59 just in case like if you do see something that you like in the live but you, you're like, mm, I kind of don't want to get up at the moment during the live, um, you do have until like 11.59 p.m. Eastern to use that code. Um, 
and I like to like I like to have like special discount codes for our live so that way anyone who joins they like they know what the code is and they can use it so and then um you know it's like a nice little perk for anyone who joins our live also guys if you haven't liked the live yet or if you haven't shared the live yet please do so it really does help us and um it helps Instagram to let them let them know that um we're live everyone's enjoying the live and more people can enjoy it with us as well so um I did see a few likes earlier so I do appreciate that a lot um but yeah also let me also show you guys the uh freebies so for tonight's freebies we have um two different styles of hair claw clips and um both of them are different versions so there's like um they're like the colors are similar to each other but they also have um uh different designs to them so the first freebie that i'll show you guys is just debating like to show you guys both the colors at the same time or just like at one time but um i'll show you guys just at one time so the first freebie that we have here is this black hair claw clip so this one here is a nice gloss hair claw clips and it's more like medium size but i feel like this is really good for um thick hair too because i have thick hair and i use this all the time time and I never have an issue it just stays in my hair until I cut like until I take it off so this one's the black version so that's one of the freebies that you can get if you make a purchase during the live and then also the other version that we have here is the brown one a nice brown um gloss finish for it and you can see here like it's more like golden in the middle and then on the side here it's more brown so it's nice nice glossy ones and then the third um, freebie that we have for tonight's live, this one here is more of a matte one, but it is still like the hair claw clips. So this one here is the black one, different design. And then if you notice that this here is more of matte finishing, so nice and smooth, looks very sleek. And then the second one here is a different color. This is more of the brown version. This is the matte, um, the matte finishing for it. And kind of similar to like the first hair claw clip. So it has like browns here and then brown here. And then it also has like the gold in the middle. Um, so I think I can just show you guys probably like a close up of like how they look like. Because I know some people are like what's the difference between like the, um, the matte hair clips and then the like glossy ones. So I'll show you guys a close up of how both of them look like so that way you can see like the difference between it. Because I do get a, um, a few, I do get a few like DMs asking like what's the difference between the matte black and then the glossy black. So although these are different like um, hair um, claw clips, uh, they do like um, they have different finishing. So here's, so this is the two black ones that I just showed you guys. Maybe it's easier like this. So this is the two black ones I showed you guys. So the first one here is the gloss one. This one has like a really nice um, smooth finish to it. And you can see like when you look at it, um, the ring light does reflect nicely on it. But then if you look at this one right here. So this one here is the matte version. And like the ring light does shine on it, but it doesn't shine as much because of the matte finishing of it. So yeah, so that's kind of like the difference between the two of those. And then let me just show you guys the other one too. So that way it's easier for you guys to see like the difference for it. Okay, so then here's the second two colors. And you can honestly like see the difference, the huge difference between how the finishing are. So this one here is the um, gloss one. And this one here is the matte one. See how like the gloss one shows more of a reflection when the sun, not the sun, but when the ring light hits it. And then if you look at the matte one, it does shine a little bit, but it doesn't shine a lot because of the matte finishing touch. But yeah, so these are our freebies for tonight's live. And um, with every with any um, with every purchase that you make during our live, you do get a freebie. They are randomly selected and placed into your order. Um, I feel like randomly selected um, randomly selecting them is actually really fun because it's like a it's extra gift that you are getting, and then like you're like. I wonder what it could be. Is it like, um, would it be the matte one? Would it be the gloss one? So yeah, it's just a fun little surprise. So I'm trying to just like fix my hair a little bit because sometimes it just gets in the way. But yeah. So this hair piece just keeps getting in the way. Um, 
but it's fine we'll just we'll just leave it as is so yeah so those are our freebies for tonight's live um any purchase during the live you do get a freebie freebies are always different each time we do our live so today's freebie is going to be our hair claw clips um probably the next live is probably something going to be different because like so far we've had freebies that were like lip gloss lip balm hair accessories um um a few other things as well so yeah they're always going to be different and also like this um special discount code is also different as well each time we do the live so um usually percentage like if we do a discount code the um the amount is always going like it's it varies depending on like what we're showcasing how we're feeling during the live and stuff so um but today's special discount code is 15% off and so the special discount code is um, press on 15 for 15% off your purchase and there's no minimum requirements you can actually buy whatever you want from our website um, if you like the things that we're showcasing in our live you can purchase that and use a discount code on that but let's just say you're on our website you're looking through a few things and you're like oh I really like that dress I really like that purse um, you can use this you can use a discount code on that as well so there's no minimum requirements there's actually no like there's no like really any requirements for it basically but yeah so um if you guys didn't hear i am i will be showcasing our press on nails i just figured because it is a new collection that we've recently launched um i kind of want to like spread the word a little bit more about it because i don't think not many people know that we have press on nails and i i don't know if you guys noticed but i've always worn press on nails to like all of our live so right now i'm wearing cala cala is a stiletto a full solid black stiletto so i can show you guys a close-up but yeah, this is how Cala is looking like. Cala is a beautiful, beautiful um, stiletto. And it's a solid black. I want to say, like, honestly, like, stilettos are probably my favorite kind of press-on nails to wear. It just looks really chic, very, like, I don't know, it's very chic and, like, clean to look at. So, yeah, these are, like, the stiletto ones. And then, um, we have it, like, in white as well. So I will go through our press-on nails right now to showcase to you guys. Um, let me know which one's your favorite or if you have a favorite type of press-on nails that you guys like to, um, that you guys like to wear or find, like, really pretty. So, um, before we start, I do want to mention that we do have, like, a bunch of different styles for our press-on nails. And, um, we have styles ranging from, like, coffin, round, oval, um to stiletto so we have a bunch of different styles and press on nails um also a lot of different designs as well so i think i'll start with the first one that i have here and um i think i kind of put them in the order of showing you guys probably first we'll start with like coffins and then we'll make our way down to like all the different ones that we have so i feel like that would probably work best for us <laughs> um uh, let's just see. Yeah, I'll start with this first. So the first one I want to show you guys is one of our medium coffin length um, press on nails. And this one here is going to be, let me show you, just make sure I can show you guys like a good, like up close of it. Um, but the first one I want to show you guys is Flora. So this is how Flora is looking like. I can't really see the camera every time, but I'm hoping it's in focus. I think it's in focus. Yeah. So this is Flora. Flora is a beautiful medium length press on nail coffin. And then so as you look at it here so it is um the background of it it is a nude background more of a i would say muted nude and then it has like um beautiful like yellow and blue accents for flowers and it also like um if you look to like to this side right here you do see like the um the press on nails for that one has a blue background and a cute cute little yellow bow there like a 3d bow and I, I feel like what, these nails are so cute and the length of it is really nice because if you if you like the style of coffin but you don't like like the long coffins like those long ones that i'm talking about um these are a perfect alternative because these are more medium length and like you could still get things done wearing these so yeah this is how flora is looking like so yeah flora is really pretty um i wore flora probably like an hour like previous live i um i forget which live it was but i think it was like our um not our la yesterday's live but probably the previous live from yesterday so yeah so that's one of my favorites i really like it and i feel like the designs are very unique very different and um the flowers are so cute on them too 
So let's move on to the second press on nails that I want to show you guys. So the, the second one that I'm going to show you guys is one of our best sellers. Like we only have a few left in stock for these press on nails. And um, yeah, because like when we um, when we first launched it, um, this press on nail like almost got sold out quickly. So um, we do have a, a little bit left in stock for this one. So this one here is the floor. So I just want to make sure I can just show you guys easier that way should I show like I don't know I always try to just like show it the best way but that's how flora looks like flora has a beautiful design flower it has a white flower with a red bud and has like green leaves there also the background um the nail polish that's used for floor is a nude background and it also has like a um also has like a very um what's what is it like i want to say like one like one of the nails also has like a it's a nude background but it also has like kind of like a pink glitter to it it's not loose glitter so it's not going to fall down or anything like that so everything stays there and nothing's gonna like you know fall out or anything like that but yeah floor is one of our best sellers we only have a few left of this one so yeah, if you guys are interested in making a purchase and getting floor, definitely do so because I think we might have like maybe one or two left of this. So definitely get your hands on it. Use the code PRESSONS15 for 15% off your purchase. Okay, moving on to our next um, press on nails. This one is also one of our best sellers. We only have a few one left of this press on nail. And um, I'll show you guys this one here is Camellia. So Camellia has a nude background and it has beautiful blue hearts in the middle of it. I want to say like kind of like towards the middle of your, of the fingernail. But yeah, this is one of a, I feel like this nail is a nice little classic nail to have. Because um, if you don't want anything too like too bold, too like stand out-ish, then this is probably your perfect pair. And like... I just feel like the nude background really works well with the colors too because sometimes like if you add like too many blues it looks too complicated and it looks a little bit maybe sometimes it looks a little bit too messy but this one's just nice it's like um just a nude background a simple nude background with a blue heart and i feel like it's cute oh i also did want to mention too that with our press on nails um they are waterproof so you can shower with them on there's no problem with that and also you can actually cut and file these nails down so like let's just say you really like camellia but you kind of want it a little bit shorter just like a little bit shorter um you can just cut them down you know with um with a nail clipper and then you're ready to go because like i like a lot like all of our nails you can do that so you can file them down you can cut them um you can honestly adjust them to how you like it for your own style so this one here is camellia um and also like if you guys didn't notice most like all of our press on nails have been um have been named by flowers so the first one i showed you was flora and then the second one i showed you was floor and then the recent one i just showed you guys is camellia each one of these are like flower names or has something to do with flower um and um i wanted to like if you if you were curious and you wanted to see how the flowers will look like they look similar to the nails that i would show you guys um so each one of these i was kind of i wanted to make sure like the names like if you were to search up like camellia it would match um it would match the press on nails and then like the next one that i'm going to show you guys honestly the name is just spot on because of the design already has it on there but also it's like it's a no-brainer for this press on nail so the next press on nail that I want to show you guys is going to be Daisy. So Daisy has a beautiful pink background and it has Daisy designs on it. So I was just like, this is a no brainer. I'm going to call it Daisy because of the design. But yeah, that's how Daisy is looking like. Daisy is more of a long, um, a long coffin. So um, if you like long coffins, this is good for you. If you like the design of Daisy, but you want to cut it to make it a little bit shorter, um, you can turn these into like round press on nails, oval press on nails, even almond press on nails, even stilettos. Honestly, you can turn this into anything if you want to change the um, the style of the press on nail. I forgot to mention, I did wanted to tell you guys what type of press-on nails these are. So let me just quickly go back and let you guys know. So Flora is a medium coffin length. So that's medium length for coffin. And then Floor is a long coffin.
And then Camellia is the long coffin. And then as I mentioned for Daisy, Daisy is a long coffin as well. I also want to mention too that Daisy is one of my favorite pressed on nails because every time I look at Daisy, it reminds me of spring. It's just, it looks fun. It looks like, um, it just, I don't know. I, I'm like, I always get, um, I, I always smile when I look at Daisy. Like if I wear Daisy, I'm just like, this is a good nail. This is a spring nail and I'm waiting for spring to come. I hate the winter. I just want it to be over already, you know? So yeah, so that was Daisy. And then let's move on to the next press on nail. So the next press on nail, I feel like it's very, um, it's very like Instagram vibes, very like Instagram body vibes. Um, so I feel like, and if you like butterflies, it's even better. So the next one that we have here is Periwinkles. So that's how Periwinkle is looking like. So Periwinkle has a beautiful light blue for the nail polish background. And it also has a clear, um, it also has a clear, um, I, I, like, I'm like, what's the word? It also has a clear nail polish for one of the other, for the other two nails. So for the clear background of those two nails, you can see that the butterflies are there. And then if you're just like moving it around, you can see that the butterflies are holographic. And I'm just like, that's so cute. At first when I was looking at the um looking at the butterflies, I didn't notice that they were holographic. I thought they were just like silver, um, because um the clear nail has like a some like little silver glitter on it. It's not loose, so it's not gonna fall anywhere. So it had some um it had some silver glitter and then when I looked at the butterfly, I'm just like, Oh, it's also silver too, that's cute. But no, it's actually holographic, so I really love that really love that and then, like you're just moving like I'm moving it just slightly I'm like it's so pretty I love it I love that one okay so the next press on nails that I'm going to show you guys is more of our um I would say more of our natural long coffin press on nails. Um, they have like their solid colors, and honestly, it's kind of like, like you can have this as your go to kind of like long press on nails. If you're looking for something like more simple for press on nails, this is probably the best for you. So, the next press on nail that I'm going to show you guys is Lupin. So, Lupin here is a long coffin press on nail, and it's a solid blue. And it's a blue that's not too dark and not too light. So it's like a, a really good medium for blue. One of my favorites, honestly. And then like I uh, mentioned before, you can always cut these and tailor it to what you need. So it's just, it's very simple. You just cut them like with a nail clipper or you can file them down. Simple as that. I was just organizing them a little bit. I'm like, it's getting a little bit messy, so let's just organize them. Because sometimes, like, um, because I have, like, a, this little table in front of me with all of our, like, items to showcase. And then sometimes it gets a little bit messy when I'm putting them down. I'm just like, let's make sure we organize a little bit. Um, so the next press on nail that I want to show you guys is going to be, um, it is the same as the first one I just showed you, but it is a different color and it's one of my favorites. So the next press on nail is going to be Iris. So this is how Iris is looking like. Iris is a long black press-on nail um, for coffin. The style is coffin. Iris is one of my favorites. Like I love wearing Iris um, all the time. It's uh, I don't know. It's just something about it. I think it's because it's just like an all black long coffin. It just makes you look very I don't know like very like badass about it. So. I know every time I wear iris I'm just like I always want to show my hand like if I'm talking to somebody I'm like yeah 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 did you like yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know it's just something I always do so I just feel like um I don't know iris got me feeling a different type of way you know but these are one of my favorites like I love this one so much um I know we only have a few left of iris too so definitely snatch it if you guys um are looking to purchase it um, so we just have a few left and you can always use that discount code, um, press on 15 for 15% off your purchase. 
Okay, so actually, I just want to show you guys just like them side by side because they're really cute. So the, like they're more of like these two are more of our like simple kind of like um, press on nails. Like even though they are like um, long coffin, they are also very like simple, very chic looking. So yeah, this is Lupin, that's Iris. So I feel like these are probably like one of the best ones you want. If you want something a little more like a little bit more basic, a little bit more like um, toned down. But these are still a classic to have though. So let's put this back down. Also guys, let me know which one is your favorite so far. So far we went um through like floral. Well, we went through quite a few right now already. So let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Like which one you um, prefer. Or like which styles do you prefer. Because um, I feel like I prefer more of the stiletto styles. Because they're just like, um, they're like the right length. And they look really good on my finger. Um, like which is the one that I'm wearing right now. So this one here is the Cala in black. And it's um, stilettos. So they're one of my favorites. Like stilettos, was, um, stilettos are one of my favorites. Um, I also really like the medium length uh, coffins. They're just like, um, they look cute because they're coffin. They look really cute. And then they're just the right length too. But Iris, <laughs> the one I just showed you guys. So Iris here, the black one, it's honestly probably one of my favorites too. It's like probably top three if anything. But I just love it. It's just like a really nice, um, a very nice, clean, chic overall design for it. Like, it's just a solid color. You can't go wrong with it. Um, like, if you have a party to go to or if you, you know, you just feel like you want to, like, dress up your nails a little bit, this is perfect for you. It can always be, like, casually dressed up or you can be, like, formally dressed up, whatever way. And then those two are long coffin. <laughs> I always forget to mention, like, what type of nails they are. But, yeah, those are the long coffins. So, let me just see if I missed anything. Okay, just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any comments. Um, the next one I want to show you guys is our Almond Press On Nails. And this is also one of my favorites too. I think I like it because of how the length of it, the length of it, it looks really good. And also the, um, the style is just, it's really cute. Kind of gives me kind of like whimsical kind of styles. But this one here is Peony. So Peony has like a really nice light pink, um, more of like, I would say that the background nail polish for Peony is more of a light pink mixed in with a little bit of purple, but it's still like, it still gives you like that kind of like muted pink color. So I'll show you a close up of what I mean. So I feel like, um, Peony is more of a muted pink and it has really, really cute like white swirls. So yeah. These are one of my favorites. Like these are more like medium length um, almonds, so these are perfect to have. I also wanted to make sure too, like when I um when when I was looking for um our press on nails collection, so that way um I wanted to make sure the press on nails would match anybody any style as well. Okay, so let me just see. So the next press on nail I want to show you, um, not to be confused with the previous one I showed you because they kind of almost look similar because the design is a little bit similar to each other, but this one here is Azalea. So Azalea has like a pink nude background and also has white and pink wave designs on it. Very cute. I actually really like the, the pop of pink to it because like, um, if you see like on the the background of it so the nail polish the background of the nail polish is a like um it's like a, a nude pink that almost has a tint of brown as the background for it and then you can see how like the um like the pink here and the white here kind of just like um, matches each other and that pink is a nice pop of pink too um so i think that's really cute and then also like with these kind of nails too. So this one here is our, this one here is more of our oval nails. So um, with the oval nails too, you can always file these down too. Because I, I know some of these, um, when I wear azalea, I do file some of it down just so that way it has more of a, uh, more of an oval effect. And then like if you want to cut it, you can also cut it into like square as well. So 
honestly you can do any design with this so this one here is azalea And then, oh, I also do want to mention, Azalea is probably, like, best if you, like, so let's just say if your work does allow you to wear, like, press-on nails, because I know some workplace are, um, they don't let you wear press-on nails, they just want you to have, like, plain nails, but if your work does allow it, then you can wear these nails, because these, the length of it is almost, like, um, the length of it is almost the length of, like, your regular fingernail, but just a slightly a little bit longer. So these are really perfect to have. And honestly, they just, like, if you're looking at it right now, they kind of just look like your fingernail, honestly. Just, like, with designs on them already painted. But, yeah, so that one was Azalea. Um, uh, if Also, guys, if you would like the live, I would really appreciate it. Um, like in the live, also, like, lets people know that we're live. Let's Instagram know that we're live and that people are enjoying the live. And then, so that way, more people can join us and see what we're showcasing. So, the next press-on nail that I'm going to show you guys is actually the one I'm wearing right now. So, the one that I'm wearing right now is Kala, but I will show you guys how Kala looks like in the box itself. So, this is Kala. Kala is a stiletto press-on nail. It's, a, it's just a solid black. It is very clean looking, very chic looking, very sleek looking as well. I just it's really nice to have so Kala is probably one of my favorites I had to wear it for today's live I was just like you know what um I always like struggle between choosing like which press on nails that I want to wear when I do the live so I'm just like hmm let me see if I should do one that's like different that I haven't worn already because I've worn Kala before in one of our previous lives but I was just like I really like Kala I like how it looks like and like it just looks really good. I just, I don't know. I, I, I just look at it like this. I'm like, oh, it, looks, it just looks really good. So I'm just going to wear it. But yeah, Kala looks like this, kind of like that. I don't know. I feel like this is a better way to show you guys. But yeah, I guess some people like to see it like this too. But yeah, Kala is one of my favorite. Um, I know we have a few left of Kala. So if you guys are interested in making the purchase, um, you can uh, copy the link that's in the pinned comment and then you guys can browse through like all of our um, press on nails and then you can see like um the other different styles i just had to like fix the way i was sitting <laughs> um but yeah we have a lot of different styles there you also see other pictures um on our website as well and then you can also see um like like real life pictures of like me like modeling the nails so um some of the pictures like if you were to look at peony there is a picture of me with those nails like with the nails on modeling it and showing it so yeah i feel like um i always try to make sure that our pictures any videos that we make are very accurate um and it's never like false advertisement so i always make sure that everything looks as accurate as it can be um but yeah so that was Kala, and then the last press on nail that I want to show you guys is the same press on nails as Kala, but in a different color. So this one here is going to be Magnolia. So Magnolia is a beautiful um, white stiletto press on nail. And I know some people don't like white for press on nails, and honestly, at first when I saw the white press on nail, I was just like... I don't think it's for me it's just it looks way too clean and like what if it gets dirty and um i don't know it just kind of like sticks out too much but when i put these on i'm just like oh no these are perfect these are amazing and i just i love how they look like too they look very clean um you can honestly wear this with any outfit and i feel like um I feel like out of all of the nails that I have right now that I've showcased to you guys, I feel like Magnolia sticks out the most because it's a white um, press-on nail and it just looks really, really good. So, and I've worn, I'm pretty sure I've worn Magnolia on our live and it just looks amazing. It's one of my favorites, honestly. So, like, I love a good stiletto press-on nails too. So, I can show you guys both of them. So, these are the two here. So, this one here is Kala. And this one here is Magnolia. And I love the names of them. I don't know. I just I love naming it after the flowers. They're just like really fun. So yeah. Cala Magnolia. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Some people don't prefer the white press on nails, but I just feel like it's a total vibe. Like it really looks good. Um 
and I would say too, like if you're worried, um, if you're worried about wearing Magnolia because it's a white press on nail and it might get dirty, you can always like grab like a, a piece of napkin, dab it with some water and you can just clean it off because they won't stain on it. So yeah, you just dab it off with some um, water on a napkin and you should be good to go. So those are the press on nails that we have in our press on nails collection. It is a recently new launch collection that we have. So um, I just wanted to make sure that um, people were aware that we do have press on nails now. Um, and we have different styles. I hope to get more in the future as well. Um, I want to get like other styles, other patterns, other designs for it too. And um, let me know which one's your favorite. If you guys have a favorite or like... Let me know if you guys like the long coffins, if you like the medium coffin, or if you prefer more of like the like the like the uh, shorter nails, like the almonds, the oval, or the stiletto. Yeah, let me know down below. I also did want to mention too that with every purchase of the press on nail, you do get a free application kit, and it comes with everything that you need to put on your press on nails um also the instructions there's only um so the instructions are like how to prep your nails how to apply your nails and how to remove your nails in each of those instructions there's only three steps i wanted to make sure that the steps will be simple easy for new people like new beginners using the press on nails and for any pros that have already been using press on nails so i wanted to make sure it was simple easy to follow not too complicated because i've seen before um some people who like some some press on nails like their steps are a little bit complicated and it's a little bit like it like there's too many steps so i was just like here's a step like here's the step of how to prep apply and remove your press on nails as easy as it can be in three steps only for each of those category um i'll also show you guys what the free application kit looks like and what's in there as well so this is our free application kit that comes with every um press on nails that you make a purchase so that's how the press on nail application kit looks like and this is free so it comes with your press on nail so i am going to open it up and i am going to show you guys like what's in there so I wanted to make sure that the press on nail kit had everything that you would need to be um, to use so that way you can um, put your press on nails. So I don't know where I should start. Maybe I'll just start with the sticker adhesive. Okay, so the first item we have here is the sticker adhesive. So this sticker is basically what you can use to put on your press on nails, so that way um they so that way they stick onto the press on nails and you can put it onto your nails. Um, these um are what we currently offer. We don't have glue at the moment. Um, we are trying to get them in the future, so stay tuned for that. But for right now, we have the sticker um adhesive, and these usually last for two to three days, depending on like the activities you do as well. They can last longer. Um, but these are very easy to use. All you have to do is just like um, find the right size for your nails, and then so I can show you probably a demonstration. Like I still I have the press ons on right now, but I could probably show you a demonstration. So let me see. So if you look right here, so this one right here, you would probably put your thumb there. So all you have to do is just like take this sticker here, place it down to make sure it fits that thumb size. I know my nail is probably blocking it. But yeah, you would just put it right there to um, make sure that it matches the size of your thumb. And then like all you have to do is just make sure the size matches your thumb. Take the sticker off, put it onto the back of your press on nail, and then peel the sticker um you have to peel the tape um the paper that's on it and then um all you gotta do is press onto your nails for like 15 seconds and then you're all set you're ready to go this is why i really like the sticker adhesive because it's so simple to use and um it's so easy to remove too so you don't have to wait long because like if you were to use like the glue the glue does last longer usually glue lasts for like um i think two to like three weeks and then um but you would have to like you know soak your hand into warm water with soap to remove it so yeah it takes a little bit longer but these simple easy one of my favorites 
Also, I think it's also really good to have like the sticker adhesive because um like I mentioned before, like let's just say you have a you have a party. Um let's just say you have a party tonight, but the next day you are going to work and work doesn't allow you to wear these press on nails. All you really have to do is put these sticker um sticker adhesive on. Um, wear them throughout the party and then when you go back home all you gotta do is take them off and then you're ready to go to work the next day so let's move on to the next thing in here so the next thing that I have here is the alcohol wipe so the alcohol wipe is just basically what happens is like when you um when you um, remove your cuticles when you push back your cuticles and then when you buff your nails you will use the alcohol wipe afterwards so that way you can have a nice clean surface and it'll be easier to like um, apply your press on nails okay so the next one that i have here is our instructions so i think it's a little bit too small to be seen like I, i'll try to show you a little bit up close but this is how the instruction looks like and um, from the instructions, this is called apply and remove. But I also have the step of how to prep your nails. So when you're preparing your nail, step one, you have to wash hands with soap and water and dry thoroughly. So make sure you guys wash your hands um, with soap, warm water, and then, you know, dry it thoroughly. So that way, um, so that way there's nothing on your hands. So that way it makes it, because if there's stuff on your hand, it makes it a little bit harder to put the press on nails. So make sure you wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water so that's the first step and then the second step is you're going to have to buff your nail and use the cuticle stick to push back any excess skin so I haven't shown you guys that yet but I will show you guys what those are looking like and then also step three you have to wipe nails with alcohol step three wipe nails with alcohol pad to clean nails for better adhesion so yeah so the alcohol wipe you really need that so that way it's a nice clean base and you can just put your press on nails so that's how you um, prepare your nails so now we're moving on to how to apply your nails so to apply your nails three simple steps that's all you have to do the first thing is you have to select your correct nail size so all you really have to do is just go through so you open the package of the nail you go through it and find which nail um matches your fingernail so each one of the so each one of our packs come with 24 pieces of um press on nails and then and then you will find like which size matches best with you so yeah i know like when i when i first tried press on nails i was like what the does this match does this match but you will definitely get used to it and you'll figure out which one is your size for it and most of the time um when you find out that the right size for the press on nails then that's usually what your number for nails would be okay so that was the first step on how to apply and then the second step is then you would add your either your um adhesive tap um, adhesive sticker or your adhesive uh your glue so that's the second step adding the glue or the sticker adhesive and then the next um so that's it um for step two and then for step three all you have to do is press down firmly for 30 seconds so you know just count up to 30 seconds i usually do between 15 to 30 seconds because it's um the adhesive um sticker works really well like it sticks onto your um your nail really nicely so yeah so then that's it for the steps of how to apply the um the press on nails now how to remove the press on nails i know a lot of people get a little bit um scared about how to remove the press on nails because they're like i don't want to lose my nail like i i'm scared of that but no don't worry we've got you covered okay so um three simple steps on how to remove your nails the right way because i know some people are just like pulling off their press on nails and i'm just like no that's how you're supposed to do it you have to like you have to um do it correctly before you ruin like your nail beds and stuff so the first step that you're going to have to do to remove your press on nails is you can't force or pull off the nails I wanted to make that as the first step because I know some people who are like oh, I don't like these press on nails anymore I'm just gonna take them off and they would just like li literally they would just like pull off the press on nails and I'm like you can't do that you really cannot do that um so please do not force or pull off your nails just don't step two 
what you're gonna do is soak nail in warm soapy water for 10 to 15 minutes okay so um usually 10 to 15 minutes the either the um the adhesive sticker or the glue that you use starts to soften if you if you're still waiting um so that's step two but I'm going to also include step two and three together because they do go hand in hand. So um, step three, it says, step three that we have says, peel off gently at the edge. Okay, so you kind of want to make sure you peel gently on the edge, like right here. So that way you don't grab from the front. That's, that's not going to work. That's going to ruin your nails. So you want to make sure you grab, like, pull gently from the edge. So that way it starts peeling off. Um. And I also didn't want to mention too, but step two and step three kind of goes hand in hand. Because if you do, um, if you do, uh, wait for 10 to 15 minutes for, with the warm soap water, um, sometimes the, sometimes the, the adhesive, uh, sticker might be a little bit stronger. So you do, sometimes you might have to do a little extra, maybe an extra five minutes on it. So that way, um, the so that way it loosens up a little bit more and you don't have to force to pull off your nails. So, yeah. So those are our simple steps. You can't go wrong with them. So that's how you would that's how you would prep your nails, apply the press on nails and remove the press on nails. And let me just go back to show you guys the remaining items cuz I don't maybe I should have started with that first, but I think it's fine. It's fine. So, let's move on to the next one. The next item that we have here. So the next item that we have here is the nail file. So the nail file, um, you can always like file down your own nails or you can file it down with the um, press on nails as well. So this is a really nice tool to have just in case sometimes your press on nails aren't looking like um, they just need like a nice little um, file down. This is perfect. Uh, the next item that we have here is the cuticle remover. This cuticle remover is the best. I use this all the time whenever I put on my press on nails. And it's very, very easy to use. Um, usually this end here is what you're going to use to push back the cuticle. So basically you go like this and then you'll push back your cuticles. So that way it makes it easier for the press on nails to fit better. Because um, if you don't push back your cuticle, um, it's going to look weird. The press on nails is going to look weird. It's not going to look like it's almost like your natural nails in a way so make sure you push back your cuticles and moving on to the last item that's in our um nail kit that you do get for free with every purchase of a press on nail is the nail buffer how cute is this little mini nail buffer so yeah this is wicked cute so this is a nail buffer the nail buffer is really good because it kind of gives you like more of a smoother um a smoother canvas to work on so all you have to do is put your nail here just pretend that i don't have this on right now but on your regular nail like your own nail all you gotta do is buff it like this you just buff it Oop. i kind of buffed it a little bit but yeah all you have to do is just buff on top of it and then with like after you're done buffing your nail so first after you're done like um pushing back your cuticle and then buffing your nail that's when you want to make sure you put the alcohol pad on and just like wipe all of your nails so yeah and like also just make sure you do everything to both hands <laughs> because i don't know sometimes like i don't know maybe some people can get confused and like do i only do it for one hand do i do it for both both hands so yeah those steps are for both of your hands um so yeah guys those are the showcase that i wanted to show you for our press on nail collection so we recently launched the press on nail collection and we do have a few um of our best sellers here and also um we have only a few left in stock so if you are interested in getting your hands on one of our press on nails definitely do so use the code um press on 15 for 15 percent off your purchase um definitely uh it's there's no requirements for the code either and the code is valid until 11 59 p.m eastern time so i would say if you're if you're interested in getting some press on nails if it's your first time getting pressed like if if it's your first time trying out press on nails i would highly recommend any of these um definitely select like what's your favorite style if you like the long coffin go for those if you kind of want to like um have a little bit of fun get the stilettos because i just feel like these stilettos are so fun
And then you can also go for like more of our like simple press on nails. So I would say like simple press on nails for anyone who likes like a nude press on nail. Because I love a good nude press on nail. They look just really cute. So if you want something really nice and simple, I would definitely go with Camellia and Floor. These are actually our two best sellers at the moment. So yeah, these are really good. Um, here's Camellia. And then this one here is a floor. Wicked cute. They're more of our, like, um, I would say these are more of our neutral kind of nails. They're a little bit more, like, I would say, like, they're a little bit more basic compared to the other nails that we have. But they are our best sellers. And... I would say if you want to have a little bit of fun with your press on nails and you kind of want something that kind of like stands out a little bit more, I think these two will probably be the best for you. So you want you want some fun press on nails? These are perfect right here. So this here is the daisy one and this one here is the periwinkle. So here's a close up of how daisy looks like. I think daisy is gorgeous and it's like a really fun um, press on nail. And also periwinkles, periwinkle with the holographic butterflies, so cute, very fun. These two are very fun press on nails. And then, um, like I mentioned, like with um with the with camellia and floor, I feel like those are more of our neutral sets that people really do get drawn to, but. I would say if you like simple classic kind of nails that just you know that just gets the job done and makes you feel like a baddie okay brace yourself because i feel like these two are the perfect one so lupin and iris these are like your classic long coffin nails you can't go wrong with them they get the job done every time and you just look good in them like honestly when i wear iris i just i just stare at my hair sometimes i'm just like it looks good it looks really really good so yeah, these are nice. And then with like, um, I would say with these two nails that we have here, these are more of like, uh, in between, like if you want something that, um, that kind of stands out, that's kind of cute, that's kind of fun, but also it's not too like, um, it's not too much or too, like too, um, like it's not too like eye-catching you kind of like obviously you want someone to like compliment like it's nice when someone compliments you on your nails so i feel like these are a nice like conversation starters so the first one i want to show you guys is going to be azalea and then the second one is peony so these two i feel like are a nice conversation starters because i feel like if i saw nails like these i'd be like oh girl your nails look good where did you get them done and then Surprise, surprise, they press on nails from your beautiful. So I feel like these are nice as conversation starters. Something that's like nice and simple. Um, you can actually wear these. I honestly think these are the best to wear at work. And you know, my personal favorites, the stilettos. If you want to feel like a baddie, if you kind of, if you love the stiletto vibes, then these are definitely for you. Cala Magnolia so pretty i love them so much but yeah guys let me know in the comments which one's your favorites which one do you like um do you like the long coffin do you like the medium coffin do you like the almond type do you like the oval type or do you like the stiletto types let me know in the comments um also and don't forget to use the special discount code, which is PRESSONS15 for 15% off your purchase. It is valid until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, you can shop at yourbeautiful.com. Beautiful has two L's in there. Just don't forget that. <laughs> and also, we with any, any purchase during the live, you do get a freebie so um in today's lives freebie we do have a few hair claw clips and the hair claw clips we have here are in like different um different finishing styles so this one here is like the gloss style so this is a gloss black and this one here is a gloss brown so these are one of the free um freebies that we have for tonight's live and then we also have another hair claw clip, but it is in a matte finishing touch. So this is the matte. So these are also one of the freebies that you can get in um, 
in the in any purchase you make during the live so that's the matte version of it so yeah guys i'll give it a few minutes see if anyone has anything else to say if they want to leave a comment ask any questions if you guys want to make a purchase don't forget the link is pinned as the first comment uh you might have to click the more button to see the link and all you have to do is copy and paste that link browse through the website if you like any of our um press on nails definitely get it definitely use the code press on 15 for 15 percent off your purchase um and yeah if you see anything else that you like on our website definitely grab it because we do have like a few things left in stock we have like um we have a bunch of things that's on our store at the moment because we i i wanted to make sure that um your beautiful is a one-stop shop and that way you can just shop for whatever you're looking for so you know we um what we do like what i like to like what i like to think of your beautiful is that we offer affordable clothing shoes accessories press on nails makeup and skincare it's a one-stop shop you don't have to go anywhere else we made it very simple very easy for you very affordable as well because i got a girl you want to look good but on a budget i get it girl i get it you know so yeah i'll um i'll wait a few moments to see if anyone else has anything else to say and then if not i'll wrap it up from there i do really enjoy our live and i really appreciate anyone that comes into the live and just like chats or even like you're just watching i do appreciate all of that and the likes as well thank you guys so much for all the likes i've seen a few likes go um go by during the live and i really do appreciate that so thank you guys so much for that also um just hanging out too because it is a friday night and i do appreciate that you guys are hanging out with me on a friday night so yeah i hope you guys enjoy these lives too because i feel like um it's a nice way to kind of like let you guys know like what's going on during our like what's going on with the business um what items we have to showcase and it kind of puts a face to the name of your beautiful because um before i uh before i used to do like youtube videos and then well i still do them i do youtube videos about the business about your beautiful and i was just like you know what like yeah like i think i can post a video on youtube but also it kind of like makes sense to go live and show you guys who's behind your beautiful so that way like you guys would trust me like yeah so i feel like it's a nice way to you know gain your trust as well because um yeah we're a new business but we're legit we're here to stay and there's so much more in the future that i have planned so yeah i just i hope you guys are excited so i'm gonna clean up a little bit and then if i don't see any further comments i'll wrap it up from there but yeah let's i i don't know why i just don't like the silence so i keep talking but i'm gonna stop talking for now i'll wait a little bit if anyone has anything else to say and then from there i will wrap it up So I just put back our like um nail application kit together so yeah I actually do have to make a little bit more of these too because um I remember when I first launched the press on nails and um we had a few orders come in and I was like and I was like oh no I didn't put the uh I didn't package the um the press on nail kits yet so I was just like making sure I will um making sure to package everything so um quickly so that way I can like get the orders out quickly as well because that's what I will start to do I will start to make sure that the orders go out as quickly as possible so that way you guys can get it as quickly as possible as well and also um 
Hi. I'm a bubble wrap maniac, so I always want to make sure that the items arrive to you guys safely and that you have a peace of mind. You have peace of mind when you order from us because like I'm I'm just the same as you guys. I'm a customer, I'm a consumer. I want to make sure that if I buy something, it's going to come to me in one piece and it's still going to be in great quality, which that is what I always start to do. So, I always make sure I bubble wrap everything. I make sure everything is nicely put in there. Um I'm not going to jam something into like um like one of those polymer layers if it's not going to fit. I'm going to change it and make sure everything arrives nice and smoothly for you guys. Okay. So I haven't seen any other comments or questions in regards to anything about like our um the items that we showcased for today. So I think I'll wrap up the live here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the live. I really do have fun doing these live and it's so fun just to talk to you guys, just to tell you guys about our items and just you know get to know you guys a little bit more and also me just like fumbling on some of my words because I get a little bit too excited like sharing the items. But I do appreciate everyone that joins the live, everyone that's watching, everyone that's commenting, everyone that's kind of just like dropping by just to see as well like what's going on. I appreciate all of that. And I appreciate all the likes as well and the shares too. The likes and the shares really do help us. So it lets um, Instagram know that, hey, we like this live and I think we think other people will like it too. So Instagram will help push out our live so that way other people can join us and just have a great time. And um get to know your beautiful more and like um i just think it's it's fun it's really nice and like i said I, I think it's like more of talking to your best friend about things that you're excited about so yeah so thank you guys so much for joining my live i really do appreciate anyone that's still here and anyone that has dropped by earlier as well um i will be doing um two lives next week as well so i bet i think i'm gonna do two lives each week and um I want to see Thursday and Friday, but I think next week the live is going to be on probably different days because there are a few um, things I have scheduled that I have to do. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll keep you guys posted on all the social media accounts. If you haven't already followed our social media accounts, please do so because we always, always update you guys when the next live is, when the new arrivals are dropping, behind the scenes, new promotions going on, all of that. So, um... On like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and Pinterest, you can find us at Shop Your Beautiful. And I also have to update the link on our bio so that way you can see all of our social media accounts and also our email list. Sign up for our email list too because you guys are going to be the first to know about new arrivals and when they drop as well. You do get um, one hour access before everyone else finds out that the before everyone else knows that the new arrivals have dropped. So thank you guys so much for watching the live. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun and i'll see you guys in our next live bye